Hey guys, this is So You're Ready For It. Today's November 15, 2020, 1231 AM Central Time. Trump's only path to a second term. I am going to go over it. I have been discussing this with a friend of mine that's in Arizona <laughs> who's been out of shape that Arizona went to Biden. And I am too. Being a long-term resident from Arizona, I was quite surprised that that state has basically officially gone to Biden. Um, and I was wrong on that sense because I had Arizona called for Trump, basically. And I'll go into my wrongness about this election in a moment. But uh, five days back, okay, I did a video called Has the Republic Fallen in 2020? And the answer to that in that video is still the answer today. No, we do not live in an authoritarian government. So even if Biden gets in, we are not going to all die. However, however, okay, Biden administration can do severe damage a couple different ways. One, through the executive branch. Depending on what he chooses to do with executive orders, how creative he gets, using rule changes, going through the agencies, which is what Obama loved to do and got a lot of stuff done getting around Congress that way, okay? Uh, they can do severe damage that's almost irreparable unless the Republicans were to get all three houses back, basically the Senate, the House, and the White House in order to overturn those types of things. It would be very difficult to overturn. In the same sense, not too much damage can be done. Like, people are concerned that he's going to be able to ban AR-15s, like basically assault weapons, which are semi-automatic rifles, through the agencies. I do not see that happening whatsoever. I don't even see a definition that the ATF could possibly warp to... Uh, involve that okay they would have to take a definition that currently exists and reinterpret it to mean something and I don't see that happening he can't do it with an executive order either so but he can do some severe damage okay and in that video uh, it sounded as though apparently that I conceded to Biden and I got inundated with hate mail I mean, severe hate mail. It's been a long time since I got so much hate mail, especially nasty hate mail, uh, because I have a public email address. But I also got a lot of you guys concerned that follow me regularly. It's like, hey, are you serious? Do you really think Biden's going to get in? And so I'm going to do this video to clarify this, but also tell you Trump's literally his only path and also something good to know about me. Um... Because I was not conceding to Biden. What I was saying in that video is simply that at this point, for the health, if you will, of this nation, and I did read a lot of your guys' uh, comments, and I agree with them, so I will have to take back a little bit what I said, and hey, when I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. Uh, for people not to flip out and burn cities down because Republicans don't do that, okay? We have brains in our heads. When we get bent out of shape about a situation, we go to the courts. When liberals get bent out of shape, they fucking go to the streets and burn shit down. Even when they're happy, they go and burn shit down. So my concern is if this does go Trump's way, after they've already called this for Biden, which is completely illegal inaccurate this asshole wants fucking access to um national security and security clearance type uh information and and briefs daily briefings and all this stuff uh regarding intelligence he does not have the right to that right now he is not the president elect period end of story this this administration that they have created by the mainstream media is illegitimate. It is not true, period, end of story. There's no question about it. This is not over, but like I said, for the health, if you will, of America and its people not burning this fucking country down, I figured it might be a decent idea 
for Biden to legitimately, okay, which would be very difficult because this entire election has been a shit fucking mess to win this election. Legitimately is out the door, but you get what I'm saying. But I did read a lot of your guys' comments saying, well, you'd rather see, you know, shit burn and people flip out and have Trump have a second term. And you know what? I agree with that. I will concede to that. I will agree that this place does need to burn down. Okay? Biden should not get in, period, end of story. Um, I was not conceding to Biden. Like I said, it was just more of a health of America. But I have since changed my mind, and I want uh, America to burn down and have Trump win. So, moving on. Luckily for you guys, okay? Luckily for you guys, I am not great at um, predicting elections, okay? And people who have been following me for years have kind of met, you know, probably realized that. I, at a 99% of the time regarding government information, whether bills are going to pass, who's going to do what, blah, 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 like all this like prediction shit, even SCOTUS cases, I am highly accurate. But when it comes to elections, I am not that accurate. However, this year I've been a lot more accurate. I, and I'll go into the Trump only path, calm down. Uh, I said McConnell and my elite patriots will, could, you know, verify this on Patreon. Uh, McConnell was going to win in Kentucky. Graham was going to win South Carolina. No matter how much money went into those states, there was no way those guys were going to lose those seats. Iowa, Ernst was going to win. Collins in Maine was going to win because her challenger was dumb enough to say she actually believed in packing the courts. I think that was a nail in her coffin. Tillis, North Carolina, I knew was going to win, but it was going to be tight because the American public is very forgiving. And his stupid opponent uh, had some, what, sexual allegations? I don't know what you want to call them. He did text messages between two different women and all this stupid shit. And he came out and apologized, blah, 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 blah. And Americans are very forgiving. So I knew that would be a close race. And indeed it was, but Tillis did pull it out. Corwin in Texas, of course he was going to win. Sullivan in Alaska, <laughs> What a race. That guy was totally going to win. Now, the places I was I was sketchy about one place, and that was Arizona with McSally and Kelly. <laughs> and I'm so disappointed that Kelly got in uh, because McSally had never won a race before. She was appointed to that position when John McCain passed away. So she lost the race for a Senate seat. Okay, to um, uh, what the fuck's her name? Salma from Arizona. Okay, then they appointed her to John McCain's seat. So she's never actually won a race. So this is her second loss <laughs> in Arizona. But that was a really sketchy one. And I really didn't think Arizona had gone so far to the left to nominate and, and uh, essentially not just nominate from the Democratic Party, but essentially put into the Senate such an anti-Trump moron, anti-gun moron. I mean, this guy's a dumbass, okay? A like pure dumbass motherfucker. Cannot believe he made it into the Senate. That one was a toss-up for me. I was rooting for McSally, but I wasn't 100% sure how that was going to go. Um, Garner in Colorado, he had a tight race with Hickenlooper, and I knew that was going to be tight. And I said in a video, I think Hickenlooper has a good chance. Garner, uh, Corey was very well liked in Colorado and he didn't really have any problems, didn't have any scandals or anything. But Hickenlooper also was very successful in Colorado in a sense that he was a governor, very popular uh, in Colorado. He ran for president and he showed himself to be somewhat of a moderate on the presidential stage, which is why he lost very, very early. Uh, so I figured Hipp Hickenlooper would win that race. Indeed, he did. Okay. The places that I lost, okay, I, th I really thought John James in Michigan was going to win over Peters. Cannot stand Peters by any means. I really, really thought and wanted John James to win Michigan. So I was wrong there. Purdue and Georgia... I knew it was going to be a very tight race, but I didn't think it was going to be nearly as tight as it was. 
and that ended up going to a runoff. I did not think that was going to happen with Purdue's race. Loeffler, the other one that's in Georgia, I had no idea how that was going to go because there were 17 motherfuckers on that goddamn ticket. So all the votes went all kinds of different places. And they nobody got close <laughs> to 50% that was needed uh, in Georgia to not cause a runoff. So I was wrong in that sense too. So I am not perfect when it comes to elections. I was very concerned Hillary was going to win in 2016. So luckily for you guys, I could be severely wrong about Trump not getting in. But I will say this. If Trump gets in, okay, and Trump gets a second term, this is the only path I see for him. He is not going to get to 70. His only hope now is to take electoral votes away from Biden, okay? This is what I wrote to my friend, and I'll kind of go from there. He was talking about how Trump is going to get in by the House, by the means of the House, okay? If it goes to the House, Trump will get reelected. No doubt about it. So I said Republicans will absolutely vote for Trump. My concern <clears throat> is that this vote will not make it to the House, these lawsuits are getting tossed out everywhere, and the suits that are so far, quote, sticking really aren't sufficient enough to flip anything to take electoral votes away from Biden to cause a House vote. The only path I see, and this has never happened, so it's unchartered waters, meaning there's no laws about this. That's how unchartered this is. And I'm not sure how it would be looked at legally if he is able to prevent <clears throat> excuse me, if he is able to tie things up in the courts enough to prevent certification in battleground states, and this process goes beyond December 14th, these are very important dates, which is when the Electoral College meets, there might be a small legal loophole that would cause this race to automatically go to the House, okay, if he's tied up in the courts. I think a case will be brought before SCOTUS, Supreme Court of the United States, on a constitutionality of that move, though, unless a miracle happens and they also got past January 20th, day of transfer of power, which the 20th Amendment would automatically kick in and it would go to the House, okay? It's the, quote, in-between dates between December 15th and January 19th that are legally uncertain if lawsuits were to end during that time because the only thing that is going to prevent this from being certified are lawsuits, period. That's it. It's going to get legally complicated if he is able to make any headway with these lawsuits. I really hope you're right about Trump getting in, but I'm highly skeptical because that's really what it comes down to. These lawsuits, if they don't get something severely able to stick, okay, on almost a nationwide, and I don't see that happening, nationwide lawsuit of some sort this is going to be very difficult to not get battleground states or states in general to certify their electors so like some of these states certify their electors like next week it doesn't mean that they go you know they go ahead of time this does happen december 14th but i mean states are going to start certifying their votes into their electorals electors excuse me so He's going to have to do some severe lawsuits tying up very, very quickly that are very substantial. The only lawsuit that I see that I don't even see him have, have filed yet, but he's filed so many I'm not sure at this point, is, is the lawsuit, I think it's even by the GOP uh, party on behalf of the Trump administration in Pennsylvania, um, going to the courts, meaning it's going to go to the Supreme Court, um, saying that the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania had no right, no legal authority, no nothing to change the date of the mail-in ballots to be continued to be coming in and, and tallied and counted after Election Day. Because that was something that changed by the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. 
not by the legislature. And it is clear, very clear in the Constitution who determines election law. And that are the state legislatures. That is something that could severely get overturned. However, that is one state. That is not, and that's the other thing. Alito, uh, Supreme Court Justice, who's over that area, because each Supreme Court Justice is actually over a section of the United States, and they can judge and rule on certain things in different areas. Uh, Alito did come out, and he said, you guys need to uh, separate these ballots. You need to make sure you're separating these ballots. They were supposed to be doing it anyway, but he came out and made a judgment call. These ballots need to be separated, the ones that are coming in after the election. The question is, were they separated? Because they're coming up with numbers that don't even make sense. No, none of these states' numbers make any fucking sense. This, seriously, this election is a fucking joke. Uh, but the numbers they're coming up with these ballots that came in after the fact, they're saying that even if you toss them out, okay, it wouldn't change the election in that state for it to go to Trump or for it to even go to a recount, uh, percentage wise. So that's, that's like, uh, hoping and praying the institution did what they were supposed to do putting ballots aside but there's no way to know that all this is so fucked up so even like i said even if those ballots get tossed supposedly that certain amount won't change anything so that's just one lawsuit that could go to the supreme court that's specifically for one state okay if they cannot prove massive voter fraud in either the way the system was counting the votes, meaning electronically or otherwise, the way um, there was systematic mail-in ballot fraud somehow, okay, uh, across the country. I don't know. They're bringing in Sidney Powell, who's an excellent lawyer, who is a lawyer for, um, uh, what the fuck's his name, Michael Flynn, and she's great. And she mentioned a few things about systematic issues. Um, but, you know, that's what bothers me about the mainstream media. Because they're just saying, we don't have any, uh, nobody's giving us evidence. There's no evidence, blah, blah, blah. Even these lawyers are like, there's no evidence, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? If there was severe evidence, okay, about this, and there may possibly be that evidence, you sure as fuck are not going to give it to the mainstream media who called this fucking election for Biden on November 3rd, okay? You're not going to give that information out. You're going to keep that so close to your heart, put it in a lawsuit, and submit it, okay? Because the other thing about that is you can't trust mainstream media to do whatever they're going to do with it. And two, you don't want to give the other side a heads up. Because if you're like, hey, this is what happened with this, that gives them so many days or even hours to try and hide, toss, burn, whatever they got to do to try and uh, discredit what you are claiming. So, of course, there's nothing public, per se, about anything major specifically, okay? And I'm not surprised about that at all for those reasons, since Sidney Powell is getting a part of this, she does not easily just hop into cases that she's going to lose. So I'm very impressed that the Trump team has uh, taken her on. So there could be something severe going on here. But again, it could be really specific to specific states. But if there's enough states to fuck things up and cause it to be an unknown not to flip it to Trump, but just to take it away from Biden, okay, and basically be an illegitimate election in that state, then he gets those electoral votes away from him. And then they fall, he falls under 270, and Trump's under 270. And that's where the whole in-between dates come in. <laughs> 
because between certifications, between lawsuits that are out there, uh, do they resolve these lawsuits between December 15th and 19th and certify a vote between then? If the vote gets certified after, <laughs> after the Electoral College would meet, does it mean that those electoral votes would then be certified and legality and all that bullshit towards the candidate it's supposed to be? That's totally uncharted waters. There is no law, no history, no precedent, no nothing, nothing that matches what is going on right now. In that instance, if all that plays out goofy and these lawsuits end somewhere between December 15th and 19th and we're in a legal limbo, okay, it will end up at the Supreme Court, and no, I will say this, because people are like, Supreme Court's going to rule who's going to, it's a possibility Supreme Court can rule who the president is. No, I do not believe that is the case at all. The Supreme Court is simply going to say, this needs to happen with this lawsuit, legality, blah, 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 for this state, and however you guys want to sort it out, because it's going to fall to state laws. Okay. It really is. This is all about state legislatures. This is not a federal thing. There are no federal election laws like there should be uh, to the degree that we're talking here. This is all state legislatures. They're going to defer them to the state legislatures. They could possibly defer them to bring them into session, okay, because they're not in, nobody's in session, bring them into session to do emergency power type situations. This could get crazy absolutely crazy so people who think this is so simplistic that they can prove voter fraud in pennsylvania or michigan or georgia or arizona or wisconsin or wherever else okay um and just flip the results to trump to get to 270 i do not see that happening at all period there's no way because the states themselves would have to do a recount and even Pennsylvania <laughs> their assholes literally said we are not doing a recount there is no justification for it regarding the percentages and there's state laws regarding percentages so it really depends on the state this 270 for Trump ain't gonna happen bringing Biden's electoral vote down below 270 is a possibility through lawsuits solid solid lawsuits okay and it will eventually go to the house that is trump's only path is the house of representatives there is no other way i do not see any other way for Trump to stay in office and get a second term. If it gets to the House, <laughs> the Republicans have, I, I looked into it, the Republicans not just have in, in the House seats and all that stuff, but like the legislatures and the states and all kinds of stuff. I mean, we picked up, which is hilarious, the Republicans picked up state legislatures on top of this, you know? So it wasn't just state, uh, it wasn't just Republican seats in the House. I mean, they picked up state legislatures, which is a big deal, okay, regarding this situation. So he will get reelected in the House. That I am solid on. I don't think anyone will dispute that <laughs> at all. But it's a matter of getting there. If Trump doesn't get to the House, I do not foresee him getting a second term. If any of you disagree... What fucking path are you looking at? <laughs> because I'm curious. I don't see any other path. Period. And I've been going back and forth with my friend for a while. And he is a very smart man. Uh, and I've been thinking about this for days, obviously. But the idea of a Biden administration is really starting to set in for me in the last 24 hours. And in a very, I mean, set in. Like, I was in denial almost. And I didn't realize that, but it's really set in and it's really pissed me off. 
And I'm thinking about all the damage he can do because I know what type of damage he can do based on what Obama did and what I know certain aspects of the government can accomplish without Congress. I know because I watched it happen and I reported on it. It's disturbing. It's very disturbing. And I would like to think Trump will get a second term. But I don't see any other path other than the House. I really don't. If you guys see a different path, let me fucking know below. Please do not send me hate mail. I really don't appreciate it. That would be great. This is Are You Ready For It? Take care, guys. Have a great morning.